Hi everyone, welcome. Today's video is going to be a short video. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain you on how to install Ubuntu Bash, Bash on Ubuntu, Bash, Ubuntu Bash on Windows. Um, what it means is that you can execute uh, Linux commands in a shell um, running on Windows, Windows 10 that is, and you need the anniversary edition at least, um, came out last year. And that's basically what my channel is about. Things that I find interesting, uh, I will post on my channel and this is certainly one of them. So um, let's get started. Let's dive right into it. So we need to enable developer mode in Windows 10. And for that, you're going to the start menu and just click on it. And we go to settings, go to updates and security. And here, um, the second last, you can see four developers, just click on that. Turn on developer mode. It will prompt you with a screen like this one. Turn on developer mode, yes. And you can close this one. Okay, and then again, we click on start with a right mouse click and we go to apps and features. And then we go on the right to programs and features. And here you may click on turn Windows features on or off. And then you scroll down until you see Windows subsystem for Linux. And here you can see it, Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, select that one and click on OK. And it says Windows completed requested changes. Windows needs to reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes. So you may hit restart now. Okay, so Windows just rebooted. And we now can start a bash for the first time. Just click on start and type in bash and then press enter. And you'll be prompted with a command line interface like this. And what it says is distributions can be installed by visiting the Windows Store. So we're going to the store and we're going to search for Ubuntu. And so click on start. Somewhere in this mess, find the Microsoft Store. Yes. And here in the search bar, you type in Ubuntu. And here you can see Ubuntu. Just click on that and click on get. It will now start downloading Ubuntu. Okay, and then you can close the store and you can close the command line. Then we click on start. And as you can see, I pinned it to my start menu. But if you type in Ubuntu and press enter, it will prompt you with this launcher installing. This may take a few minutes. Just let it finish. Okay, please create a default a Unix a user account. So we're going to add a user account with the password. Default a Unix user set to a booby trap. Yes, well, you can add any user you like. So yeah, there you have Ubuntu on Windows. Very nice. Um, just a bare uh, installation like this one. Um, so no graphical user interface. Uh, basically nothing more than that. And I'm going to use this in um, probably future videos. Um, we'll leave it at this. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.